Experiment Elimination Into the Multiverse, Episode 32. Hello and welcome back to Experiment Elimination Into the Multiverse. Last episode, the Eliminate Experiments voted on who they want to be eliminated. As a result, Cannonball got dehydrated after receiving 13 votes. At the final rejoining ceremony, Stitch had rejoined the show after receiving 28 votes to rejoin. The final six performed on the stage in front of a live audience and three judges by playing their electric guitars as their 31st challenge. In the end, Ace and Slushy surprisingly tied with a perfect score of 30, so they both won invincibility alongside Stitch, leaving the other half up for elimination. Alright troops, where are we in a black background? I have no idea, Ace, but it feels that we are in a dream. It reminds me that we think about the Splatfest in Splatoon 3. This event may be dinosaurs versus robots versus aliens. Impressive, Retro. Wait, what's that noise coming from the distance? <laughs> Ooh, it's the T-Rex! Retreat! <gasps> Shota, we're blocked! Please, stop chasing us! I'm one of the dinosaurs! Stop this madness! Have mercy! Retro, no! You'll be stumped by this dinosaur! Stop it! No! Uh... Retro, what are you doing? It was just a dream, but more like a nightmare. And now, on to the elimination ceremony. Welcome to the elimination ceremony, cousins. As you may know, Babyfire, Retro, and Sinker are up for elimination since they did not get a perfect score on their guitar solo. Stitch also did not get a perfect score, but he has invincibility for rejoining last episode. Anyone feeling nervous? Eh, but a little. Maybe, I guess. Also, is it 7 a.m.? I don't care, but we also got a very large audience watching us today. We received a total of 43 votes. I have five bowls of mac and cheese. When I call your name, come and get one. But if you don't get one, it's game over and you will never come back. Ever. Let us begin. Ace, Slushy, and Stitch are invincible, so they're safe. Now then, the first one safe with two votes is Baby Fire. All right, boy. And the last one safe with six votes is... Retro! Yeah! Gaba, but that means... I'm sorry to say this, but with a new record of 35 votes, Sinker is dehydrated! <gasps> ah! It's because you accidentally broke your guitar by its strings fell off. Oh, but hey, 6th place is not that bad enough. Not to mention, you like going swimming and cutting some food. Goodbye, Sinker. Farewell, cousins. Any last words, Sinker? I can work at a Japanese restaurant to make more sushi. Alright, fire right now! Sayonara! And the shark? is now at the plaza. All right, Final Five, enjoy your mac and cheese, and by noon, we'll be doing our 30-second challenge. The next morning, we did it, troops. We finally made it to the Final Five. We are losing us. We deserved a reward. Look, cousins, we see chocolate bars that Fudgy made them. Yum, bon appetit. Hey, 
I got a golden ticket. Me too. Oh, wow. What a surprise. Excellent. I believe that must be a reward. I don't know about that. But let's ask Jumba and Pleakley about this. El Quixote. Hey, Jumba, we found the golden tickets. What do we do with them? Oh, Jumba noticed that you found the Wonka bars in your room. But that's the first part of your reward for making it to the final five. And since you found the golden tickets, you'll get the second part of your reward. Oh, boy. What is it, Pleakley? You get to bring a dehydrated experiment with you for the challenge. Sweet! This will invent with my beauty bear, Angel. I'm going to bring Splody Head with me. I'm going to invite Lax to join with me. I'll bring Richter, because he's a cool Ankylosaurus. And I will invite none other than Poxy. Huh? Where are we at? Did we rejoin? Naga. Richter, I think it's something else. Greetings, Poxy, Lax, Richter, Angel, and Splodyhead. You had been chosen wisely to be with the final five who are about to participate in today's challenge. Which is... The 32nd challenge is to survive the chocolate factory. How is that even a challenge when we're just going on a tour? You'll find out later, 626. I think it's almost noon. Which means it's time. Off to the chocolate factory. A few minutes later. Whoa! That was fast. Look at the time. It's noon. I present to you... Mr. Willy Wonka! Good morning, sunshine! The Earth says hello! Look! It's Pleakley introducing us Willy Wonka to us! Greetings! Welcome to the factory. My name is Willy Wonka, and Pleakley and I will be your tour guides. Thank you, Mr. Wonka! Here, you will be exploring everything around in the factory has to offer. But what does that have to do with the challenge? This is our challenge, Slushy. Just don't end up like the four bratty kids went through in the movie. The last one left standing wins invincibility. Now, follow me, cousins. Let's get this started. All right. So, this here is the main hallway where workers go and clock in their shift so they can start making chocolate, isn't it? Boring. Where does the hallway lead to anyway? You'll see in just a few moments. Naga Batifa, why is everyone so crowded? I can't move anywhere. What's inside that other room with that tiny door down there? E. What does it lead to? This. Hold your breath. Make a wish. Count to three. Welcome to the chocolate room, cousins, where everything and everywhere here is made out of candy. Wait, what's that river over there? Nagatagaba! The river is polluted! Polluted? No, this is a chocolate river. Every drop in this river is made out of the finest milk chocolate made in this factory, which originates from the chocolate waterfall over there. Oh, interesting. It's beautiful. You can eat the grass, the mushrooms, the berries, the candy cane tree, the pomegranate pumpkins, and much more. Enjoy! First come to serve first is so delicious. Yum, it tastes good. Wow, Richter, it's so delicious. 
same as I know that Kix is not coming to be your ally. Oh, yum! This mushroom is yummy. It sure is, Lax. I can use a tongue to eat candies instead of turning them into primitive things. Berries. Well, it reminds me about Pokemon using healing items. E baby fire. I wonder if there's something look familiar. Slushy, what are you doing? I'm climbing up the candy cane tree to lick some of it. Impressive. Huh? That grass is so edible. Retro, what are you doing? What's going on with this chocolate river? A dinosaur boy? My chocolate must be untouched by alien hands. Whoa, 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 oh, oh! Retro! <gasps> oh no, I'm going to drone! I'll save you, Retro! What's that over there? Look, the pipe up there is sucking the chocolate and carried it all the way over to the factory, thousands of gallons per hour. Will it suck retro? I, I can't hold it anymore. Oh, it's the chocolate whirlpool. Oh. Is that the Oompa Loompas? Yeah, direct from Loompa Land. Some clones perform their dance. These over there are the Oompa Loompas. Hello! Augustus Gloop. Blitz snack. I'm the first one out. <sighs> and he's gone. Don't worry, Retro. You'll be alright. I'll save you, see? Do, Do not, not forget, forget Retro will, will not be harmed. We promised. So, where are we going now? Who's up for the boat ride? I, I am. am. There's the boat, all aboard. So, where are we sailing to? To the next destination. What is that destination? No, I refuse to tell because it's a surprise. Brace yourselves! Ooh, scrunchies, ooh, nose on me. You may look around some rooms that you've discovered, like coffee cream, hair cream, shaving cream, whipped cream, hair cream, etc. Ooh. Here we are! This is the inventing room. Take a look! This is the inventing room where we invent some of the craziest and funniest things ever. It looks like it's similar to science fiction slash comedy movies, like Men in Black. What is our latest invention, Pleakley? This invention is Everlasting Gobstopper. It never gets smaller or loses its flavor. We also have other inventions, like the Hershey Company. Ooh, what's this? Is this gum? It's not just any gum. It's a full three-course dinner gum, which is made all by itself. Unlike many kitchens, this gum contains tomato soup, roast beef, and blueberry pie. I'll eat it. Stitch, how's the gum taste like? Angel, it tastes like tomato soup. Stitch is doing enjoying it. Spit it out. Hold it. It's changing. It tastes like roast beef with but potato crispy skin on butter. Well, it feels like more of a savory gum, but not sweet gum. It's changing one last side. It tastes like blueberry pie and ice cream. It's too late. Stitch, what's wrong? <gasps> You're turning blue! Angel, I'm blue No! Stand back! Oh, 
he got messed up for his second out. Violet Beauregard. Is there any way to fix Stitch back to normal? Yes, there is. Umbalubas, take him away to the juicing room. Squeeze all the juice out of him. With pleasure. I'm coming for you, Stitch. Stitch will be all right. Yep, off to the next room. A few moments later. So, what is the next room? The next room is going to be very interesting. Look, squirrels! Yep, Ace, this is the nut room where 100 squirrels are trying to open every nut with their jaws, examining if there is a good nut or a bad nut, like peanuts, almonds, cashews, etc. Look at that, I think this one is a bad nut. I'm a fairy-like experiment because fairies like forest creatures that giving divine nature. Oh, is that so? These squirrels are workers and you can't have it to be a body. I'll fly to meet up with the squirrels. Baby Fire, what are you doing? Don't touch these squirrels' nuts. They'll make you crazy. I'll have you now. <gasps> oh! Foxy, save me! What are they doing? They're testing to think that baby fire's a bad nut. Stop it now! Oh my goodness, she is a bad nut after all. Well, this fairy is a bad nut. My friends, take her to the incinerator. Help me! Baby fire, Naga, I'll stop these squirrels. <laughs> Baby Fire, I'm coming for you! Baruga Salt Don't worry about that, the incinerator is broken. It'll take three weeks to fix it. All right. Follow me together. Chumba, what are you doing in this elevator? It's a wonk -ivator. Most elevators can go up and down, but this wonk -ivator can go sideways, backways, front and square ways, and so forth, that you can think of. You can press any button and zing, you're off. Whoa! Oh, wow, look at that. Cousins, this is Fudge Mountain where it's made out of fudge. Here you can see the cotton candy room where sheep wool can be sheared into cotton candy. Fascinating. Wait, why is this Wonka Vader stopped? Hold on. Ooh! Man, it feels like fireworks. Which room are we going? We're going to the television room. Hang tight, people. Okay, my experiments. Take these goggles with you. We're about to enter a really dangerous room. Welcome to the television room. This here is a Wonka Vision, our greatest invention yet. It's a television over there. No, it's a Wonka Vision, ordinary television. Yeah, you take a picture then the photograph is split up into millions of tiny pieces and they go whizzing into the air and down to your TV set where they're all set back together in the right order. How do you know, 262? Anyway, Mr. Wonka said if television can do all of that with a photograph, why can't he do it with a bar of chocolate? Oompa Loompas, bring in the chocolate now. Now, we will send this giant chocolate bar from one end of the room to the other way. Why is this so big? Because when it's sent to the television, it ends up small. 
Now, goggles on, please. Lights! Camera! Action! It's gone! You may remove your goggles. Where's the chocolate? It's flying over our heads in a million pieces. Look! Whoa! This is so bizarre! Now watch the screen, cousins. There it is! The chocolate! Take it now. It's just a picture. All right, you take it. Huh? Yes, I got it! And it's real! Now take a bite, Slushy. It's perfect! Unbelievable! It's a miracle! It's a TV dinner. This Wonka vision could change the world. Mr. Wonka, can you send other things like people or aliens? Maybe, I guess. I want to be the superhero in all of the Wonka vision. Ace, I order you not to do it because it could be dangerous. <laughs> Ace, you better be careful. Stop it. No, come back. Lights, camera, action! Ace, Pleakley, where did he go? He's up there in a million pieces. Naga Batifa. We better watch that screen to see what happens next. Let's see. There you are, Ace. Are you all right? Eh, I'm perfectly fine. I can't believe that I'm inside that television. It feels great. It's just like you're a superhero, which is me. Quick, pick him up, Richter. <clears throat> Don't worry, 262. There's a way, Oompa Loompa. Take him to the taffy pulling machine, stretch it back to normal, and make sure he doesn't look flat. You got, got it! it! Mike TV. Have no fear, Richter. We will make sure that Ace will be unharmed. Yeah! The same goes to Retro Stitch and Baby Fire. Come with us, Richter. We'll get you seated at the waiting room. Okay. Well, that was crazy. E, Splody. There's still so much left to see and so much left to do. Now, how many experiments are left? Mr. Wonka, Slashy is the only one left now. You mean, you're the only one? And what happened to the others? Oh, goodness, Slushy. That means you won invincibility. Oh, I do congratulate you. I really do. I'm absolutely delightful. Now we must go because it's time for us to spin things along in this Wonkavator. Are you ready, 523 and 619? Because we're going out. Ooh. Hang tight, people. We're going to go much faster, or otherwise, we'll just never break through. Like, what is that room? We're getting out of this place. But the elevator is made out of glass. It'll smash in into a thousand pieces. <laughs> Here it comes. Oh my goodness, we made it out! It was awesome! Slushy, how was being good while you were on a tour? It was amazing because I won invincibility! I know, Slushy. Oh, and one more thing. For winning the challenge, you get to choose one cousin to have invincibility with you. Who will it be? I'm choosing Ace. Why you didn't choose Stitch? Because he's part of our team. 
Sorry, Splody, because Stitch and Retro had joined very late because of a joining curse. And now, it's down to either Ace or Baby Fire. But I chose Ace to have invincibility because he and I were team leaders since the beginning. So that means Baby Fire, Stitch, and Retro are up for elimination. And this will be the last time that the viewers will vote someone off before the finals era stage will begin. Look at these cousins down below! Finally, I'm all cleaned up from that chocolate mess. Everything is going to be fine, Retro, but you're the first one to go down. Yes, Stitch is no longer darker blue. And I'm thinner. Hey, Poochie Poo, it's because of the juicing room. Ugh, that's disgusting. It looks like we had bad smells. But luckily, we both got cleaned up from that smell. Wow, that tapping pulling machine is crazy. Well, they could have shrink to enlarge you. True, but the taffy puller was something at least I wasn't harmed. The Oompa Loompas are not going to lie though. So viewers, vote off either Baby Fire, Stitch, or Retro by commenting in this video or by selecting one in the poll of the community page. The experiment with the most votes will be the 30 second experiment dehydrated into an experiment pod. Voting ends when I put the title says, Voting Close! Poxy, Lax, Richter, Angel, and Splodyhead, thank you for being part of the challenge with the final five. But now, it's time for you all to go back to the plaza. It's so nice to have you there. We had a lot of fun. We understand, Klee Klee. Bye, cousins. We'll see you on the other side.